Good day everyone! From BAC 11, I am Edsa Joy Francisco, representative of our group, and for today's video, I would like to introduce to you one of the indigenous art in the Philippines, the Bulul. The Bulul is also known as Bulul or Tinagtago. It is a carved wooden statue that the Ifugao people of northern Luzon used to guard their rice crop. They are carved from a single piece of wood and depict humans with very unrealistic features. These Bulul are supposed to represent the ancestors of the Ifugaos and the people supposedly gain power from the presence of ancestral spirits within them. associated with rice production and with healing. The creation of bulul involves awen bulul, ritual by a priest to ensure that the statue gains power. The bulul is treated with care and respect to avoid the risk of the spirits of the ancestors bringing sickness. The figures are placed together with the rice, the house, or granaries to bring a plentiful harvest. The bulul is important to Ifugaos because they believe they can protect and multiply the rice and help make the harvest abundant. The form of bulul are male and female. Bulul statues are often found together with sex-related symbols such as the mortar for the female and pestle for the male. Male bulul may sometimes be depicted with loincloth and females with tapis, earrings, and anklet. Although the form varies, the bulul is commonly represented as seated on the ground with arms crossed over his upraised knees. The bulul has a simplified form and is traditionally carved from nara or ipil wood. The bulul is touched by hands deep in the blood of a chicken or pig in a ritual called tunod during the rice planting season. Over time, a blood imparts a dark color to the figures, overlaid with a patina of grease from food offerings. Bulul are handed down to the first child of a family. Typically, the older statues have beetle holes made by insects in the granary. Bulul are nowadays mostly manufactured for the tourist trade, but a local family may buy such a bulbul and use it for ceremonial purposes. Thus, in a sense adding authenticity, however, an Ifugao farmer, Mumbaki, or shaman, stated that the last traditional rituals were held in the 1960s. Some of the carvers, such as Rey Paz Contreras, have become well-known artists with their work exhibited and sold widely in the Western world. Contreras uses discarded wood from the railways for his carvings of Bulul and other Anito, or guardian deity, figures. Now you know what Bulul sculpture is and the importance of it as part of indigenous art of the Philippines. <laughs> On behalf of my group, I am Edsel Joy Francisco from BAC 11. Thank you and keep safe.